Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to design this model. For this model, we have all the dimensions we need in order to create it. As we see here, we have uh, too much dimensions and it is a little bit difficult to understand all this. For this reason, I have uh, simplified it here, as you can see here. I have added some detail. Here, you can see this one and this one and this one and this one so for this uh, this model as you can see here this is here uh, we have uh, this thickness is 19 millimeter and for this one we have two millimeters uh, thickness and the dimension outside dimension here is 290 and we have 200 from this up to this and for this circle we have here the thickness 3 millimeter outside for this and 60 millimeter inside thickness it is the same for this one as well you can see total thickness is 19 millimeter 60 millimeter plus 3 millimeter is 19 millimeter and we have a gap in the center here we have 87 millimeter and uh, this dimension is 105 is for this one outside to outside and we have the thickness for this one and for this one you can see here we have 3 millimeter for this one upward from this surface the same for this one, 3 mm, 3 mm, 3 mm, and we have 10 mm downward. We have 10 mm here, and we have uh, this hole uh, here. You can see here, but it's a little dif difficult to see all dimensions, that's why I put here some uh, dimensions here, or you can see for the next, you can see here. This is the dimensions. So now let's start with this one. This one we have here. Radius 20 millimeter. From the center to the center 125 millimeter. 290, 200. And let's start to start with new sketch. Front plane. Rectangle. This is 200 and this is 290 and let's put this one on the center of our plane this center this center this center this center add some fillet 20 millimeter this and this and this and this and this great now we have the thickness we have here this is 90 millimeter and this is 2 millimeter and this is will be 169 millimeter so let's start with this one first thickness will be 90 millimeter okay start sketch from this up to this and this will be on the center of our object it's better we do it again better we do it like this in order to see the difference this center will be on the center here 
and the dimensions here is 105 millimeter finish sketch extrude 169 millimeter this one and now we have uh, this one we create we will create this one and this one or this one sketch can rotate it like this convert entity select this one and this one from the center this one and this one line This is this. The same for this one and this one and this one. This must be tangent, and this you have to check it. And this select trim, trim. As you see, it is already. So we need three like this, equal distance. So we have to select this rectangular pattern, select geometry, this one, direction, we select this one, change direction. Three. Distance is 125 millimeter. Okay. Finish sketch. Extrude two millimeter. Two millimeter. Okay. Let's add some holes here. Convert entity at some points on this center, this center, this center, and this center, and this center. Now, as you can see. This is 30 millimeter. Or we can see here 30 millimeter through hole. It means the hole will start here and finish here. You can select hole, simple hole, 30 millimeter. And here you can select through hole. Or you can select this one from this as from this face will finish up to this face. It depends on you. You can select this one. Here it's next step we are going to add some parties here. And this is this one this one as you can see here this part this is the thickness of this is six millimeter you can see here six millimeter you can see this wall and you can see this hole. this is from the center that's why you don't see these holes just you see this circle six millimeter thickness and dimension we get here a little bit better new sketch and let's start his arc and this will must be straight this and this and on some lines one 
this must touch here this cut here that dimension 14 millimeter Here, 34 millimeter. You can draw it like this. You can draw it like this. And this is tangent. Tangent. Let's put it on the center. dimension here up to here is 32 millimeter now draw a line and here up to here finish sketch and extrude 6 millimeter Finish sketch, extrude, you select this one, upward 3 millimeter, downward 10 millimeter. Here you can see the preview, 3 millimeter upward, 10 millimeter downward. And let's add this hole this hole this one draw a circle 6 to 1 millimeter in center dimension 94 millimeter you see here two lines this is because it's a fillet because we have added it fillet before that's why you see two circles here otherwise the this circle is 61 diameter and this will be through all extrude cap you can select this one or this one it's up to you through all and now we are going to add hole here and this hole is on the center of our object let's select mid plane click here and click here and now you can select this one view sketch now you can see in the surface of the middle of this object so you can click on this to see better now draw a line from the center for 45 millimeter and this will go this some dimensions up to here 46 millimeter and this this 11 millimeter 
and this 51 millimeter and from this up to this 16 millimeter and now we can add this line like this you can see this is 45 11 millimeter 46 millimeter up to this and the lengths of this you don't see here but we have here 51 millimeter and now we can finish sketch revolve select this profile and the axis will be on this axis cat okay can hide this one now you see this one this is good and now we are going to add this gap in the middle of this object and this is we have the dimensions is here as well you can see here 87 millimeter extrude cap and the dimension is here this one this one this one let's start select mid plane again new sketch this one convert entity we need this one and this one rectangle draw a line here up to here trim This will be parallel to this dimension this and this 18 millimeter 10 millimeter and this is 10 millimeter too this is 191 Command extrude and cap. You have to select this one. You can select this one 43.5. You can select here 43.5 millimeter, or you can select this one center like this 43.5 uh, it shows only or you can add 87 millimeter this is here okay now Okay. Yeah, you see here. You can check it. No. This one. From this face up to this face, eight seven millimeter. It's okay. And now let's add. Add 
this one new sketch rectangle and this will be on the center of our model dimension for this one 105 and this is 90 90 the length of this is 105 millimeter and this is from the center of our rectangle to outside here is 86 86 millimeter from the center 86 millimeter finish sketch extrude three millimeter upward and ten millimeter downward finish again new sketch we have to cut here draw rectangle And this will be the same on the center of our model dimension this is uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see 70 55 millimeter radius 3 millimeter 3 millimeter fillet 3 millimeter here finish sketch extrude cap will be one direction and you can select this one have to cut select this one first and select this face okay we have some problem here we have to fix it Fillet three millimeter. Now finish sketch. Now extrude cap up to this face. Here we go. So it looks great. Next step, we are going to add some holes here. Here. And this one we have here. Rectangle. And this 
must be in the center of our object. This will have ninety-four, ninety-four millimeter from the center up to here. Millimeter and dimension we have here eight five eight five millimeter eight five millimeter eight five millimeter at some point here. This is M10. Hole dips 50 millimeter. Thread dips 50 millimeter. This top. Select this one. M10. And this is will be cannot like this one. 15 millimeter and this will be 50 millimeter. Here we go. It looks great. And now we can add the same hole here. Convert entity. This is M18. And here we can see the dips. We have this. We have hole dips 12 millimeter and thread dips 12 millimeter. This will be 12 millimeter. Great. Now we are going to add some holes here, and we have this one. We can see it's better here. We have eight seven, and this is fifty eight millimeter. Rectangle and this will be eight seven millimeter and this will be one hundred sixteen millimeter and this must be in the center. Now we are going to have some points here, point and point and point and point here. We can finish sketch. Cool. And now you can see here M10 hole dips 50 millimeter, thread dips 50 millimeter. 
and this is M M10. This will be 50 millimeter, and this is 50 millimeter. Great. And now we are going to add some cuts here and sketch again for this. So I have 100, 16, and 17. And this is from the center. Rectangle. This is 17 millimeter. 17 millimeter here. 116 millimeter. Radius uh, three millimeter. Yes. I think it's three millimeter radius. Three millimeter. This and this. This. This and this. Sketch extrude cut mm. up to next. No, we have uh, to up to this surface. Do it like this. Okay. Looks great. And now we are going to add some holes here. New sketch. One hundred fifty. And you have for this one you have here one hundred fifty. Draw a line from the center straight trim you can add a point like this and you can now delete convert construction line select this point this one six hold uh, or six point it will be six hold finish sketch and we have m10 this is the whole dips is 13 millimeter and the thread dips 13 millimeters it means up to next m10 m10 one up to this one because we have three millimeter upward 10 millimeter downward total thickness is 13 millimeter so I have this one so I have this one the same we are going to add some holes here pro rectangle And this dimension will be eight point seventy five 
millimeter the same here 8.75 millimeter and this will be center and this will be center now select point here and here and here and here this one construction line construction line construction line construction line finish sketch and now see here we have here mm, this is for is and this is m8 hole dips 22.20 millimeter and thread dips 22.20 millimeter m8 select this one m8 and we can select this one 22.20 and we have already here Great. And now we are going to add some cuts here. And for this one we have here. So new sketch. And this will be we can go like this. delete this one delete this one delete this one let's do it again eight five millimeter Six millimeter forty millimeter and now extrude cap forty six millimeter eight five eight five forty and this as well six millimeter. sketch extrude and cap like this one and this one through all and here we have uh, fillet 3 millimeter 3 millimeter here and here 
here and here. Three millimeter free left. You can see it here. We have radius three millimeter times four. We have one, two, three, four. So now we are going to design or to draw this circle. And this circle we have here the dimension and the thickness of this we have here. So let's start to, to make here new sketch. Draw circle and this we have 94 millimeter 94 millimeter and this inner 80 millimeter and the second is 120 94 millimeter is not this millimeter and 86 millimeter eight six millimeter and draw another circle this will be 80 millimeter and this will be 120 millimeter. Mm, and now finish sketch. And now extrude three millimeter outside. And ten millimeter inside. You see, ten millimeter inside, three millimeter outside. No, this is not uh, cap. This one. I'm sorry, it's not uh, ten. It is 16 millimeter inside. 16 millimeter. Here we go. And now we are going to add some dimensions. And for this, we can you can see here. Here we have. And for eight six, and this is M ten, M ten, one hundred twenty eighty millimeter. This is forty millimeter. And draw a line. This will be 100, 100, and we have here straight. So we draw a line from the center up to this. Our point. This one is only this one. This one six. 
Japanese sketch. And this is this is um M10. Hole dips 50 millimeter, thread dips 50 millimeter. dips here is 50 millimeter as well here 50 millimeter okay and now we are going to make center plane this and this and now we have to select mirror one and select this one and select this one refine like this one again new sketch convert entity This one, finish sketch, extrude and cut through all. So, and now we are going to add this, this extrude cap, and the dimension for this one we have. Here we have here this is 50 millimeter inside, and then we'll be cut this shape as you see 50 millimeter and extrude 57 millimeter. This one select this offset plane 15 millimeter inside minus 15 millimeter new sketch and select this one to see better draw an arc and this one will be same straight line this will be in the center we have 75 millimeter and the radius is 47 millimeter radius 47 millimeter This is from the center. This is from the center. Convert entity. And let's select this point and this one. And now draw a line up to this one. And the same this side up to this one and this one this must be straight line will be 75 millimeter seventy five 
mm. Radius 3 mm fillet. This one and this one. Finish sketch. Let's hide this one. Extrude. And this will be 57 mm inside. And it will be cut. You can see the preview here. You see here it has been cut and now you can add some fillet here it's three millimeter for this one this one and this one this one and this one the same as well here Three millimeter, three millimeter here. Finish. And now we can add some color or some material for this one. We can add fillet, chamfer. This one. One millimeter chamfer here. So it looks great here. And now we are going to add some color. change the color you can make red you can select this one and you can select red and you can select it's up to you which color you, you like you can apply on this so, thank you very much for watching See you next.